I'm going to put you on the spot now, Fiona. So, with the to selection, who do you think is going to make the senior squad? Uh, without saying the people I know already are on, um, really, I mean, it's, it's going to depend on the course, depend on who's got their head in, like, on the game tomorrow. Um, you know, obviously the younger athletes don't have that experience that they have, um, you know, the older ones have of sort of, you know, stressful situations in racing, I suppose. Uh, Lizzie Neve certainly has got a lot of experience and she's been there at the highest level and she knows how to deal with that kind of situation. So, you know, you'd think that she could actually, you know, pull out a good result there. But then the younger girls, they're speedy and they're fast and if they can keep it clean, then, you know, they could be right up there. So anything could happen and uh, I'm really looking forward to, to watching that race in particular. And um, in the C2s, um, you know, Greg and Adam are looking pretty strong, to be fair, but uh, we also know that Zach and Ryan can be can be strong on their day. Matt and Reese are just, they're solid. They, they can do a good result. So, again, that's that's going to be wide open. And then the C1s, yeah, I mean, Ryan, I would say, has probably got the edge. He's recently performed really well, like at the tail end of last season. Um, again, at the start of this season, he's been performing really well. Um, and in training he's looked super strong and super solid so I, I would say he's probably got the advantage tomorrow to make that, that space in the team and then uh, yeah the count then well I think it's looking good for Bradley at the moment and um, he's a very very young lad and he's, uh, he's not got the experience there yet but as long as he can keep calm then I'm sure he'll be fine. So a very diplomatic view there from Fiona Penny. <laughs> so what I'll do, I'll go on record and say now, because Fiona's been very, very diplomatic. Me, personally, I reckon, C1 women. Ooh. Come on, Fiona. Come on, help me out with the C1 women. Come on, put you on the spot now. Let's I'm have on something. Spot. Come on, uh, let's have you on the spot. I might, I might go for saying that Ailey might get it. Uh, she's she's performed at the high, highest level here at the World Cup race last year, getting a silver medal behind Mallory, and uh, she she did that on that day when the pressure was on, and the pressure will be on tomorrow, and I think she could probably hold it together. So Fiona and mine, to be fair selections or predictions for selections for the C1 women will be obviously Mallory Franklin is already pre-selected then Kim Woods with the two wins and we reckon the last one's gonna be Ailey Gibson okay C1 men so now we've got David Florence already already selected so who else are we going for there Fiona <sighs> on the spot again on the spot <laughs> on the spot come I'm on I'm gonna go for uh, Ryan and Tom Quinn Ryan and Tom Ryan and Tom <laughs> in which order do you reckon Tom? I, I'm going to go for Tom, Tom and Adam. To be honest with you, uh, yeah, Tom and Adam for me. So, what do you money, think? Money on it tomorrow, then. Eh? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, so that's the C1 men done. K1 men. Obviously, we're going for Joe Clark. Obviously, with his two wins, Richard Hounslow with his two seconds. It'd be really hard to beat, to be fair. So he's already pre-selected also now because of his two seconds. Third, I'm going to go for Bradley. I what about you, Fiona? I, I think I'll go for Bradley too. He, uh, if he keeps his head together, I think he'll uh, manage to keep it clean, solid, and when he does that, he's actually really quick. So, so K1 men, you've heard it here. It's going to be Joe Clark, Richard Hounslow, and Bradley Forbes Crayons. Now, Bradley, that was really hard for me to say, to be fair, because I really, really do have false teeth. Okay, now the last one, C2 men. So C2 men, we've obviously got David Florence, Richard Hounslow, Mark Proctor and Etienne Stott. Who's going to make the third one? I'll go first. Personally, I reckon it's going to be Adam Birch and Greg Pitt. What about yourself, Fiona? To be fair, I think you're probably right there. They looked pretty good on the water, uh, really strong and, you know, they made some moves that were actually quite simple, and uh, they made it look quite easy. I reckon you're, you're right there. Okay, so there we go. That's the roundup so far from the GB GB weekend with regards to selection. So once again, thank you very much for your time, Fiona, and we look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. Thank you. Take care. Adios. Wow, am I a clown? Fiona just reminded me the prediction that we have not done is for the K1 women. How can I forget the K1 women? Right, I know why. I think Fiona's been trying to dodge this question because there's so many permutations as to who can actually get selection. So, here we go. Fiona, predictions for the K1 women. <laughs> this is hard. Um, and it, Yeah, God, I, I wish they could all be in the team, to be fair, because... Uh, they all are really strong paddlers and 
all actually capable of even finaling on the senior stage at an international level. And uh, I think Lizzie is probably a safe bet because she has the experience and she can definitely perform at, on this uh, level and in, in this environment. Um, and then the other spot, well, Kim's been fast and uh, if she can keep off the poles, then I think she might just about have it. Bess carrying a, an injury on her rib and it's, it's hard work for her. I know she's in quite a bit of pain trying to get down that course and she did exceptionally well this afternoon to, to pull out that winning run. So, uh, if I was on the spot, I'd probably say Kim might, might pull it out. OK, so we've got Fiona Penny here saying that Kim Woods is her top prediction there for the K1 women, along with who else are we going for? We're going for the Lizzie Neve, you say? Yeah, yeah. OK, so I, I'll be contradictory to what Fiona's saying, and I am going to go for Lizzie Neve, and I'm also going to go for Beth Latham. Whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong, we will all find out tomorrow. So tune in tomorrow to find out the roundup of day three on the British Canoeing.